Warning. The following video contains strong language, and it is not suitable for children. If you see the symbol, turn your volume down by 25%. Viewer discretion is advised. Windows 11 21 hours 2. How much I love you. I think I'm going to make some more AVS video editor videos. Um, okay, I have to downgrade my computer to Windows 10 20H2. This is how the Windows 10 looks different. But the Microsoft Edge is still there. It was released on October 2020. Okay? I have to downgrade the 20H2 to RTM. I have been tried Windows 10 when I was a kid. The build version is 10240 and the date was in July 29, 2015. It looks great. Oh great, the Windows 10's build version is 9926. This is not great. Well, the Windows 10 looks different than usual. Windows search looks crazy, Internet Explorer is still there, File Explorer looks different, not even the settings, and Microsoft Store, of course the other apps looks different, and Windows 10 desktop is not the same. It looks like the Alaska's desktop. Okay? Windows 8.1. I guess, well, Windows 8.1 has been released on October 17, 2013, which is 10 years ago. I think Windows Start button looks the same as Windows 10. Not even the apps. Their computer, but the computer has changed name into this PC, Network, File Explorer, Internet Explorer, Windows Media Maker, and Windows Taskbar but they look different. Ah uh ah, -uh. not this Windows 8.1 again, this time, different. Shit. You know that Windows 8.1 doesn't look the same. They look the same except the background. What the fuck is this? Windows North Pole? I don't like it, and also, the name says Windows 8.1 Enterprise Preview, build 9431. And the release date was June 15, 2013, and expired on January 15, 2014. I don't like it. Fuck. Not this shit again. Oh my god, I can't f***ing believe the Windows 8 doesn't look exactly the same as the 8.1, 10 and 11 version. I don't see the f***ing Windows Start button. This is bullshit. And what in the f***ing hell is this? Flowers. Oh my god, it's autumn, and autumn don't see flowers. It's only spring for f***'s sakes. Shit. Not this shit once again. Screw this downgrader. Gosh f***ing darn it, the Windows Start logo is nothing the same, the network is not working, as well as the gosh darn reinstaller. I'm so pissed off of this shit. What the bloody is this cranberry? It is not even spring or summer yet. It's even the gosh darn autumn. I said it for the second f***ing time, and I hate this. This build version is 8400, and the release date was in May 18, 2012. This is getting out of my f***ing hand. Oh f*** no. I can't even use Windows 8 Consumer. I didn't use it since 2012. Oh great, the Windows fish has been appeared under the sea, the does look nothing like the Windows Start logo missing, including the apps have been different. The build version is 8250, and the release date was in February 17, 2012, and it expired on January 15, 2013, just like the Windows 8 release preview. Well, I'm scrambled. I have to downgrade this build versions. This is just great. Windows 8 developer does look nothing like Windows 8.1, the Windows Start button doesn't look the same. It does looks like Windows 7 Metro. And Windows 8 developer desktop screen looks like the Windows 7 lock screen wallpaper. This is not cool. The build is 8102, and the release was in August 30, 2011. You got to be f***ing f***ing kidding me? Windows 8 build 8056? Let's hope it better not be the same this time. Phew. That's a relief.
except two minor details. Windows 8 Developer Previews Build 8056 Taskbar looks like Windows 7 Service Pack 1's taskbar. The color is purple, and the wallpaper looks different though. The release date was in July 30, 2011. OK? Windows 8 Beta. I'll try it, hum. Windows background looks different. And the Windows taskbar is basic. Hope this thinks gets error when you get the VMware Tools 8. Wyok will be sometime in the future. The build version is 8014, and the release date was in May 26, 2011. This is different. OK? Windows 8 Milestone 3. Let's hope it doesn't have build version 7955. I forgot to mention, the title says. Shh, let's not leak our hard work. The title was crazy, and also, the code name is Microsoft Pre-Release Windows Operating System. The original ISO date was in the last day of February 2011. And it expires on the first day of July 2011, which is Canada Day I believe. Windows 8 Milestone 1. Another one. This one was made back in September 22, 2010, before Despicable Me Minion Rush Moa Minions 2016, which is definitely six years. Uh, I don't know what Windows 7 Build 7777 is, but let's find out soon. Hum. I think it looks similar to the Windows 8 Milestone 1 Build 7850. But let's see what the extra title is. This development build is for internal Microsoft development use only. Unauthorized distribution, use or disclosure of this pre-release software will be considered a violation of company policy and your employment agreement and will result in disciplinary action up to and including termination of emolument, in the case of employees, termination of an assignment or contact, in the case of contingent staff, and potential civil and criminal liability. Well, that's a really long story of this. And of course Windows 7's taskbar is still there in Windows 8, I don't know why? Another one? OK then. Let's give it a try. This one was made back in January 22, 2010, and it will expire on the first day of March, 2010. Like seriously? I really hate it when the Windows 7 Post RTM has been expired for 38 days. That's not good. I thought it will expire until July 1, 2010. Oh well. Holy f***ing cow. Hell yeah baby. Windows 7 Service Pack 1 is finally here after bunch of downgrading. Let's f***ing go. Wow. I can't believe the Windows 7 is finally here for so long. I love it. Unfortunately, Windows 7 has been end of support almost 4 years ago, not even Windows 8.1 for 9 months, and Windows 10 is about to end of support until October 14, 2025. But anyways, happy 14 years anniversary to Windows 7. It was the best operating system when I was 3 to teenager. Great. Looks like I have to make video on oh my f***ing god not again. I thought the downgrading was supposed to be over. Well crap, looks like the Windows 7 pre-release candidate was released on March 21, 2009, and expired on first day of March, 2010, just like the Windows 7 post RTM. Could think the Windows 7's beta fish is still there, and also, the build version is 7068. Oh my god not Windows 7 Beta. This is far 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 worse than Windows 7 pre-release candidate, SP1, and post RTM. Could think it is the same, but, the app is called Send Feedback. Windows 7 Beta was released on December 12, 2008, and the expired date was in 1st of July, 2009. Not only that it downgraded my computer to Windows 7 Beta by itself, it also has crazy themes that it is the same sounds with the Aero themes. The build version is build 7000. Oh crap. Not Windows 7 Milestone 3. Let's hope it better not be Windows Vista. Well, fuck. It's actually Windows Vista. Shit. 
Looks like no blue pill for Windows 7 Milestone 3 for this. The build is 6801, it was released on September 14, 2008, before summer break is over. What the f***? Windows 7 Milestone 2? Worse than Milestone 3. Make it stu- Fine. The downgrader is downgrading my computer to Windows Vista to SP2. This is not great at all. Just not great. Dang it. This is the 15,000th time that the downgrader is downgrading from Windows 11 to Windows Vista. The release date was in May 26, 2009, which is my birth is in three weeks. Oh f no. Not this shit again. This is really crazy. I can't believe that downgrader has too many downgrades. This is stupid 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 stupid. Windows Vista Pre-RTM was released on October 16, 2008 when it's my Alexandra's fifth birthday. And the build version is 5840. Changing the Eric's voice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh my fucking god! Not this shit again. Windows fucking Vista fucking build fucking five fucking thousand fucking sixty fucking six. This is bullshit. Gosh fucking darn it! I cannot fucking believe the damn player is so fucking old. This is fucking crazy. Windows Vista Build 5466 was released on June 27, 2006. And the expiration date was in the last day of May 2007, which is 11 months. I Not this f***ing 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 shitty as shit once again. Now I have to regret this. Congrats of f***ing mansions. I have a bunch of f***ing downgrades, because of the f***ing downgrader. This does look nothing but Windows XP Start Menu. This is not f***ing cool. The release date was in July 20th, 2005, and the expiration date was in the last day of September 2006, which is 437 days. <laughs> Changing to Wise Guy's voice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yeah, I'm sure
Excuse me? But why did you just call me? Sorry, I wasn't talking to you Windows Whistler from Pfti. I was talking the operating system who is downgrading my precious Windows 11. And I'm sorry for saying the N-word to you. You know the N-word is very racist besides the African people. I'll never do it again. Well, your apologies accepted. Don't do it ever again. What the hell? Well gosh darn it. Another downgrader. Not very good. I think you should leave now. It was nice knowing you. Don't say the n-word to me in front of the African people, okay? Okay Whistler. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh man. I'm really upset because of the operating system is about to downgrading all the away to Windows 1.0. This is the complete disaster. Sorry about the anger problems, because of the operating system downgrading. I'm really sad right now. Anyways, Windows 2000 was released from December 15, 1999 before Christmas. Oh no. Not Windows me. Sorry guys, I didn't say Windows 2000 was released on December 15, 1999, I said it was come out on September 13, 2005, which is 18 years. That was released manufacturing. Anyways, Windows Millennium Edition was released date on September 14, 2000, and support end on July 11, 2006. No 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 no. Not Windows 98 Seconds Edition. It came out on June 25, 1998, mainstream support ended on June 30, 2002 and extended support end on July 11, 2006. Not Windows 95, it came out on. RTM version was released on August 24, 1995, SP1 version was in February 14, 1996 which is the Valentine's Day, SP2 version was in August 30, 1996, SP2.1 was in July 27, 1997, and the SP2.5 was in November 26, 1996. The support ended on the last day of 2001. Oh no. Not Windows 3.1. This is not very good. It came out on April 8, 1992. No. Not Windows 2.0. It could be worse than Windows 11. There is nothing from games that I could play. It is so really oldest operating system. It came out on December 9, 1987. That's it? That was the last downgrade? From Windows 11 to 2.0? Now I have to upgrade back to Windows XP? Yeah, I cannot believe that I got Windows XP back. Even though I hate this, I'm so glad that downgrader is over with. Upgrading Windows 7 because of your luck. Yeah, can it get any better than this? Upgrading to Windows 10 because you have even more luck. Yeah, Upgrading to Windows 11 because of even even more of luck. Yeah, uh, 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 I love Windows 11, and that's what I have. It's great to be back on Windows 11 again.